Hi, I'm Elle Ingalls, creator of Pressure Free and Optimal Performance, the methods to show you how to reduce stress, anger, anxiety, and overwhelm so that you can perform at your best in all of your endeavors. I created this video to share what anxiety is doing so that you have compelling reasons to understand why stress is the culprit in underperformance for athletes. I was a high school and college athlete, high school athlete in New Hampshire and a college athlete at the University of Michigan, also a track coach over the years. And I know how important it is to stay calm, cool, and collected when you're about to perform in a big competition or event and how amazing it can be when you prevent anxiety in the days leading up to your big event so that you can perform at your best and get good night's sleep. As an athlete, your energy level is so critical to your performance. If you ever feel anxious or nervous before a competition, if you have trouble sleeping the nights before a big event, if you feel like you have to go to the bathroom a lot before your events or even the night before your events, then these are all major energy drainers. All of these energy drainers are signs that you are triggering the fight or flight stress response. Have you heard of that before, the fight or flight stress response? I call it the fight, flight, or freeze stress response because some people, when they trigger stress hormones, freeze like deer in the headlights. They're not sure what to do next. So you may have one of those responses. Maybe when you trigger the stress response, you want to super fight. I was working with a hockey player once, and it usually takes up to 10 seconds before the flood of hormones releases and you want to fight. And he said, oh no, I only have 0.6 seconds before I want to fight. So fighting may be what you respond to, or maybe you want to run away and hide. You just want to get away from it all. Or perhaps you do freeze and you're unsure what to do next. So every time you start to feel certain emotions, you trigger this stress response and it really messes your body and your mind up so that you lose energy and you don't perform well. I want to share just three things these stress hormones do to you so that you can understand a little bit more about how it's affecting athletic performance. The first is sleep. You need a good night's sleep to perform well, and usually it's two nights before the event that you really need it. Some people stress out weeks before a big event or tryout. So what's really going on here and how can we break that? Well, cortisol is to blame. Every time you trigger the stress hormones, I call it a cocktail because there are a couple of different floods of hormones that affect you. The second flood has this chemical called cortisol. Cortisol is your wake up drug. When it goes to your brain, it tells you to wake up. So let's say you're nervous the night before an event and you get to sleep, but then at two in the morning, you're wide awake. That's because cortisol has flood your brain telling you it's time to wake up. So we need to prevent that flood of cortisol. Another thing that stress hormones do is they actually decrease our muscle mass and they cause our muscles to be very shaky because we dehydrate them. Also, our reflex is hyper. So you will see athletes become really uncoordinated when they've triggered the stress response. You know, they're fumbling around for the baseball or they're overthrowing the pass or in hockey, they're shooting over the net or in basketball, they just throw a brick up. So that's what's happening there. Their reflexes are hyper and their muscle tissues have been really compromised. The third thing I want to share is that every time we release these hormones, our immune system plummets up to 40%. As an athlete, you need your health. Your health is your first wealth. Emerson said that. It's not just about money. It's about performance. Your health is your first wealth. I show people how to stop the release of these stress hormones so that you can perform at your best in all of your endeavors. I want to invite you to jump on a free video series I've just created called Optimal Performance. If you're an athlete, then my guess is that you're looking for ways to perform at your peak. So Jump on the link below here, just click and sign in and you'll receive four free videos from me that share with you what this is all about and how you can start to benefit from learning how to control stress. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a few things about stress from this video and athletic performance. If this was helpful, please comment down below here and please feel free to send this to your teammates, your coaches, to anybody that you work with or anybody that you feel could benefit from learning about optimal performance. This is Elle and I'm wishing you a fabulous day and thanks for jumping on and watching.